Need to get on the other side.
I should not be seen in this area. Someone there. Hmm. Scraps and rags left for the rats. Ugh. Hard as stone. The stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of Briars. Strange. I'm not the one true king of Briars, yet here I sit. Insolent ferret! Kill this usurper! Toland is ours, Kerr!
Up. Not bad, actually. These anomalies feel second nature now. Any ghosting effects? Double identity syndrome? Occipital shock signs? Hey, hey, you trying to freak me out? My god, just let me work. Closing in on another one. Sorry to freak you out earlier. It's just, the animus can be dangerous. Prolonged exposure is hard on a brain. I know. I just... I want to finish this. Yes, definitely. Jump out whenever you feel worn down. I got the data. Here it comes. Look what they have done to it. We should stop coming here, Skeki. It only saddens you and angers me. Yes. Uh, yes, you are right. Then let's go and never come back. Just a moment longer. 
You're looking to set foot in there. I would not advise it. In my youth, I could. Both of us could. We would not think twice about taking back what is ours. You lived here. It was a fishing village once. Built it with our bare hands, all of it. But bandits drove us out the moment they saw how plentiful the waters were. The fish here are not shy, and they are difficult to sate. You make it hard to resist. I may have to see for myself. It will not be easy. Why not take my wife with you? Stickler would love to raise hell against these dogs. What would it serve? Only a matter of time before more roving bandits catch a whiff of this place. We know. Such is the case in all of Lincolnshire. But it would be a small victory. A chance to dip our feet for a while. Not a good idea. If anyone is to take care of these bandits, it'll be me. And me alone. Look. Look what they have done to it. We should stop coming here, Skeki. It only saddens you and angers me. Yes. Yes, you are right. Then let's go and never come back. Just a moment longer. Mm -hmm.
only saddens you and angers me. Yes. Uh, yes, you are right. Then let's go and never... This fishing spot is safe for now. Have a walk. Dip your feet if you like. But do not stay long. We won't. Thank you, stranger. Farewell. Were you bit? Oh, yes. Snake bit. Just like you. Attack! Now, brothers and sisters of church, the very soil of this sacred land, no more. You're going back to where you belong. We will rid England of your mind. Contribution. Someone help! They mean to hang me for something I did not do! Come with me. Please, this is a mistake. I've told you my name is... You have the wrong man. Get me off this thing. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday.
are the one with the big nose, not me. Not enough that you're dead weight. I have to listen to your babbling as well. I found him asleep beneath a tree. He's unharmed. My poor Bjarti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does, I will belt him. That is a start. Farewell. I can breathe again. You're all right. How do I get through another night without you? Those are the cries of a broken heart. Who died? My beloved cat, Sphinxy. And please, do not be so crass. Sphinxie has simply... passed on. She is in God's hands. Nothing hurts quite like a fresh wound. But in time, it will heal. And life will return to normal. Oh, if only. Instead, I find myself missing her more and more. With each passing winter. How long ago did Sphinxie pass on? Eleven years ago tomorrow. <laughs> a long time, I know. <laughs> A little. Have you thought about honoring Sphinxie with a shrine? There's no burial, but it may ease your grief. I am halfway there, but I cannot bring myself to sort through her things. I simply do not have the strength. I will help you. We will build Sphinxie a shrine together. Where should I start? My home. It's where she... She... <laughs> There must be something I can find in here for the cat shrine. If I can sort through all the rubble. <laughs> Shit! Just how many cats do you have? Found some of Sphinxie's belongings. It is done. A shrine dedicated to Sphinxie. Whenever you care to pay your respects. And a home you can return to again. It may take some getting used to without Sphinxie, but her children need you. And here 
I thought all Danes were ruthless plunderers. Murderers? You have a soul that would grace the heavens. Light my sphinxy. Lord, light your way. on sight here. Eva! Eva, wake up, you fool! He can't hear you. Passed out cold. She's right. You can tell by the pool of piss around his ankles, see? He won't come to for a while. It's all right. We'll wait. That way he can watch while we skin you. Never mind, Eva. Stay asleep. Sleep. Be quick! You two again. Bent over the barrel of another adventure, I see. This is his fault. I told him they looked like bandits, but he insisted on cheating them out of coin. We need to leave. Some of them went to fetch firewood. They will be back any moment. There's no we in this. Your brother, your problem. What? No, please. Look at him! He is dead weight! Dead weight soon. You should hurry. If I have to carry him, we will never make it out of here alive. Please! Your brother is lucky I like you. There may not be much between your ears, but you're not the problem here. Thank you? This way! Think again, Saxon filth. There is no besting these sons of Ragnar. Soon the world will know us by name. A sleep talker. Just when I need it. See this? Do you see it? This blade was forged by Grundel. Grundle Thundersmith, greatest of all blacksmiths. One nick, and your life essence will shoot out of you like a gazer from the depths of Norway. You laugh. Am I a joke to you? Do I look like a jester? That is what I thought. You will think again before laughing behind my back. No one laughs at me. No one. Cast him aside when this is done. For your sake.
This is where we part ways. Yes. My... my thanks. Thank you. Stop thanking me and listen closely. This life does not suit you. There are people out there who would kill you over these petty squabbles. This I have realized. If your idiot brother hatches another one of his glory-seeking plans, take your fist and slam it right between his eyes. Or better yet, punch him in his cock. He will listen. Punch his cock. Yes. That should get the point across. Thank you. Uh, you will never see us again. Good. What? 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 What is? Ah, we made away with the coin, didn't we? Poor fools never suspected us. But we are more clever than we look, eh? Where are you going, brother? You must tell the details of this great victory. I am going home.
Your threat is ended.
Smells like a trap. <coughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 